Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. Today we're going to be talking about cop guns of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So the, the first gun I'm going to show you is a Smith & Wesson Model 10. This is in 38 Special. Um, these were really common. Uh, they're also unofficially known as the military police or the hand ejector. Um, but by the time the late 50s, early 60s rolled around, Smith & Wesson started giving model numbers. And if you look at the crane, if you see a model number here, this is a 10-6, then it's 60s or newer. Um, the 10-6 was the first Model 10 with the heavy or bull barrel. Um, this is actually a second barrel. Uh, the first one had a bell in it, and due to the low cost of the gun, uh, I determined that it was probably more cost effective to be a gun plumber and change the barrel out myself uh, with the used one and that did turn out okay which was surprising um, but this is 38 special um, a lot of police departments at the time um, would only let you carry 38 special um, a lot of departments even if they had 357 magnum guns would only let officers carry 38 special in their 357s so these were pretty common. You'll see them in a lot of older um, movies all the way back to the start of cinema, really, because the Model 10, the older ones would have a much smaller pencil-style barrel and a thin sight. But these are awesome, heavy, hard-use guns. Um, you a lot of times see them with a lot of holster wear. Um, moving on, this is a Smith & Wesson Model 13 2. Uh, this is pretty much the exact same gun as the Model 10, but it's in 357 Magnum. Um, they actually made some Model 10s in 357 Magnum for the, I believe, the New York Police Department um, by special contract, and they later made the Model 13, um, which is the same gun. The cylinders are recessed, so if you drop a round in the uh, case is fully enclosed and um, the recoil is pretty harsh with 357 uh, I would not really recommend shooting a lot of 357 but it, it'll handle it I, I you know if you shoot a ton you're probably gonna crack a forcing cone or or stretch out the frame the model tens were not well known for handling very heavy uh, 357 loads especially light bullets with heavy powder loads they tend to crack forcing cones um, these were, uh, like I said, came out in about the, uh, 70s, but decent guns. This is another one that's got a ton of holster wear and heavy use, but Smith & Wesson was also, at this time, really stepping down. The trigger on this one is not as good as the trigger on that one, which is not as good as a 50s, uh, Model 10. The next one I'm going to talk about is a Ruger... Police Service 6. Now this is a 38 Special. They made these in 357 or 38 Special. But a lot of police departments, even in the 80s, were still ordering these in 38 Special only um, due to public perception or whatever their own hang-ups were. And this, I believe, was introduced in about the 70s. Um, but this is an 80s example. But very similar um, to the Model 10. But it is a Ruger, so it's solid. It doesn't have a side plate, so it's able to handle a lot more abuse. Not quite as refined of a trigger, but um, a very heavy-duty working gun. Now, these supposedly could be bored out to 357 because the cylinders are treated exactly the same. But I, I don't think it's probably worth doing that. You could probably just go get a new GP100. But now we're going to take them out and uh, throw some rounds downrange. So, back on the range, uh, this is the Model 10-6-38 Special. Um, pretty nice shooting, nice handling with light loads of 38 Special. Um, next, I'm going to shoot the 357 mag, and I'm not looking forward to it. So this is the Smith & Wesson model 13.2 and 357 mag. This is a very light gun for 357 mag, so it's not the most pleasant gun to shoot. I'd rather shoot something in a little larger frame, 
But it, it is an accurate gun and it does work just fine. So last we're going to shoot the uh, Ruger Police Service 6 and 38 Special. And it is actually marked Police Service 6. They uh, had some marked as Security 6s and those had adjustable sights and came in 38 Special and 357 Mag. The uh, Service 6, which also came in 357 Mag and 38 Special, but had uh, non-adjustable sights. They also made one called the Speed 6 with a rounded butt and the non-adjustable sights. Um, but these are these are pretty nice, handy little guns. We're gonna shoot it real quick. And there you go, your 60s, 70s, and 80s cop guns.